Hey guys, what's up? It's Riley and I am here today for a trans ed video. I am in a hotel room so that is why the setting is a little bit different and I brought all of my stuff to record videos but I forgot my camera so I am recording on my phone. I hope that the quality is okay. I think it will be considering my phone's camera is pretty good so we're just gonna hope and then we're gonna move on. Today I wanted to do the gender tag for you because I have not done that before and I know a lot of trans YouTubers do the gender tag and I thought it would be really nice and fun so I have my laptop here with the questions of gender tag and I figured we should get started how do you self-identify your gender and what does that definition mean to you I self-identify my gender as a non-binary trans man I don't feel comfortable using the term FTM just because I don't feel like I ever was female even though I was assigned female at birth and to me it means that I'm not binary and I sit outside the traditional gender binary spectrum but I also still identify as a man but not a cis man I identify as a trans man what pronouns honor you he him pronouns honor me but if someone wants to use they them for me it doesn't bother me as long as it is not female pronouns any pronouns are fine but my chosen pronouns and the ones that I like the most are he him describe your style of clothing that you most often wear i feel like most often i wear pretty androgynous clothing sometimes it borders on the more feminine style i'm the kind of person that really likes graphic t-shirts jeans and just nice shoes and that's something that i wear very frequently in my wardrobe like i mean i'm wearing a graphic tee today that's usually what i end up wearing but i'm also the kind of person who really likes like plain white shirts paired with like short alls and overalls um and i feel like that that crosses to be more feminine, but it is something that I still really like to wear. Talk about your choices with body hair. I style my hair. I shave the sides of my head all the way around, and it's called an undercut that I really like, and I have grown out the top over the past year and a half or so, and I really like it because it's very floofy, and I like having the sides very short and shaved down, but I like having the top like very floof, um, and I feel like it makes me get gendered incorrect most of the time when I'm out in public but to me that doesn't matter because I really love my hair and it's a part of me that I take a lot of pride in. I'm on testosterone but my facial hair growth is not very much and it grows in very patchy and all over the place and very random so I do choose to shave my facial hair because if I keep it it looks like a prepubescent 12 year old boy and I really don't like that look. Talk about cosmetics. I'm the kind of person who really likes makeup. I do like makeup. I don't do it very often and I do it when I want to have fun and I am very bad at actually doing it. I don't know how to do it properly and I don't know how to like put things on. I don't know how to do any of that. But it's something that I really like to do just for fun when I'm feeling it. Like I really like bold lips and stuff like that. And to me it doesn't correspond with my gender at all. I do paint my nails. I used to paint them a lot and I took very good care of them. But then anxiety started getting bad again and I kind of stopped doing that. So now they look real gross. Have you experienced being misgendered and if so how often I get misgendered pretty much every single day like if I go out of my house I get misgendered people call me she miss her and I feel like it's probably because I present more androgynous that I get misgendered more often and I feel like my inflection and everything else is on the more feminine side but honestly being misgendered is not something that really bothers me because I know in myself what my gender is so that's pretty much all I need. Do you experience dysphoria? And if so, how does that affect you? I used to experience dysphoria a lot, but in the past year, year and a half or so, I really haven't experienced it. And I think that's because I'm so comfortable within myself and within my gender that I really like am not dysphoric about anything anymore. Like I was never really dysphoric about my chest. I just knew that I wanted top surgery because it's something that I wanted and I'd be happier without them. But like having my boobs didn't bother me. And like sometimes my hips are like how great they get in the way whatever but like it's not something that I hate having talk about children I as of right now am not interested in having children I do not want to be the person who carries children um, I might have children or adopt children in the future obviously not right now considering I'm only 18 
but it's not something that I've given a lot of thought to and it's not something that I'm super interested in. Talk about money. Is it important that you have to provide financially for a family if you choose to have one? Is it important to you to earn more than your partner? Do you prefer to pay for things like dates? I tend to be a very um, submissive person, I guess, so I wouldn't mind earning more than my partner, but it's not something that I absolutely need. I wouldn't mind earning less than my partner. I prefer to split half and half on dates usually when I go out on dates and it's not something that's very important to me to like take care of somebody else or be taken care of. I'm not uncomfortable when people offer to pay for me. It actually makes me feel really loved and really secure and I really do like that. But I do offer to pay for other people pretty frequently too. So anything else you want to share? It has taken me a long time to get to where I am with my comfortableness and my gender and you know honestly where I am right now I'm very happy about and I'm very proud with where I am and it's taken a long time to get here but it makes me very happy that I'm comfortable enough in my identity to be able to share things with you and be able to like post videos on gender and talk to people about gender and talk to people about my gender and help people with their own experiences with gender. I hope you enjoyed this little video and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below your answers to some of these questions and what your experience with gender is like. Cis, trans, I still want to know what your experience is and I really look forward to reading the comments and replying to some of those. You can subscribe to this channel because I post two videos a week here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you click the two little buttons on the screen, it'll take you to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel and the video box will take you to my last video. I love you guys lots. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on Thursday. Goodbye.